you're a runner, you're training for your race, you're running for your health, whatever it is, you're out there, you're on the go. So as runners, we have a tendency of getting really tight, so you have to be really, really careful to make sure that you're stretching and really giving those uh, muscles a chance to elongate. You're doing a lot of compression and um, muscle contracting exercises when you're running. So it's really important to take time, first of all, to sleep, which I know I need to do more of personally, and to stretch. Um, never stretch cold. Try to warm up first. Um, and get those muscles a little bit warm and they're a little bit more pliable and then do stretching. Then do your workout, cool down and then do some stretching. So today I'm going to show you a couple of different stretches that have really, really, really helped me um, in terms of helping to loosen up my, tip, my hips, which are always very tight. And, um, and just again, trying to stretch out those muscles. So one exercise that I just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love is this one. So you're actually going to come down on all fours. It's called a pigeon pose. This is excellent for stretching the hips, which again have a tendency of getting really, really tight. So you're going to sit here. We're really trying to get that hip on the floor if you can. Obviously, you can see mine isn't because I have what tight hips. But this is excellent. So try and hang out here. Try to hold each stretch for at least. 30 seconds, and really concentrate on your breathing so that you're relaxing, and really, you know, settling into that stretch. So you're gonna do it on the left side, hang out for a minute. As I said, at least 30 seconds of stretch. And then you're gonna do the same thing, switch it to the right side. Now, one thing to note, and I'll also turn around so you can see as well, you know, one of your hips may be tighter than the other. My left hip tends to be a little bit tighter than my right hip. This is, hi Max, this is my dog, Max. Max. Yes. Uh, he wants to stretch too. And has it, so one hip has tendency to be tighter than the other. That's completely normal, okay? So I'm going to turn to the other side. Okay. Okay. So I want you to see this from the other side. Hey Max, you can get out of my shaft. Same thing. Stretching this, this 
part here. Good, okay. Again, try to hold each stretch for at least 30 seconds. And you can do one side, do the other side, and then go back. So what happens is, like, you know, your muscles are kind of like a rubber band, so you just kind of have to stretch a little bit and stretch a little bit more. So as you stretch, the more you can stretch. Um, another exercise, when you're working on these hips, we're like trying to open up these hips to really try to circle them. We do this not only because it's like fun, but we do it because it really helps to open up the hips. We try to go up, down, and around, up, down, and around, and reverse it. Then you can come up, come down, and really try to open up these knees. If you can, you shouldn't feel any pain with it. But again, everything has a tendency to get really tight. The inner thigh gets tight, the outer thigh gets tight, your hamstrings get tight. We're going to work on that in a second. We'll try to open up those knees. Okay, so another stretch, really super helpful. Coming down. Sitting leg, coming up gently, gently, gently to the point where you feel a stretch in the left hamstring. Just a little bit of, of um, definitely not a pulling sensation, but just a little bit of tension. And you go back down, you come back up. You can put both hands on either side, on the inside, to really get a good stretch go deeper. Coming up. Walking around to the other side. Stretching. Coming up. So my left hamstring is a little bit tighter today. Um, Jostle is normal to have more tightness, tightness on one side than on the other. Come back down. Up. There you go. So those are some exercises that can really help again open up these hips, stretching, um, stretching the inner thigh, stretching the hamstrings. Again, an exercise to stretch your quads. Try in, okay, I'm trying to get my balance. Go. I was a little bit off balance there. Try to have your legs parallel to each other. Breathe and really sit in. And switching to the other side, so my right side is actually better than my left side. Most people have that too. Try to keep the core tight. Helps with your balance. You can hold your arm out for balance. Another exercise, another to stretch them up, a different muscle, different muscles. Your calves. Man, the calves really have a tendency to get tight, super tight, all the way up. You're compressing, compressing, compressing. All that pressure is basically starting in your feet and going off the rest, of the rest of your body. So the calves will really, really take a beat. You try to dig into, try to dig the heel into the ground. And breathe, lean into the wall, and stretch it back. In, and switch the leg, bending in, coming back. Another great thing to do is to try to roll the ankles all the way around gently. Because again, with all the compression, the tendons tend to get really, really tight. Sometimes the ankle loses mobility, which can actually cause you to have more tightness in your calf. So you want to really work on loosening up these ankles. My left ankle is actually um, tighter than my right ankle ankle due to a, an injury I had as a kid. I sprained my ankle on the springs. I was eight. And the same thing for the right side. I'm going to turn these four so you can see. I'm going to try to roll the ankle all the way around and reversing it. So this is 
are just some exercises that you can do. Again, try to warm up for a few minutes, get the blood flowing, get the muscles a little bit looser, then go to the stretch, then do your workout, then cool down and do stretching. Really try to get like a good 10 minutes of stretching in. It's really difficult because a lot of times we're completely pressed for time and you know, we're rushing, rushing, rushing on to the next thing. But the stretching thing is really, really important. It will help you to prevent injury. It will also help you with your performance because when you have tightness, in addition to potentially causing the injury, it limits your range of motion, which can really affect your ability to, to run fast, your turnover, your, your strength, uh, the, the length of your stride, etc. So stretching is important. Sometimes you don't want to do it, but sometimes the best thing we have to do for ourselves in life, it seems like, you know, ah, you do it again. So that's it. Um, I know a lot of times, you know, we don't have a lot of time for stretching because we're super busy and we have other things that we're trying to do, or like for work, whatever it is. But stretching is really, really important because um, not only can it help to prevent injury, it is also something that can really affect positively or ne not, not stretching, can negatively affect your ability, your threat life performance. So um, what happens when you don't stretch and the muscles get tight, it really limits your range of motion. So your muscles can't actively fully engage. And so for example, when you're running, you really want to have a long, efficient stride. If the muscles are tight, it's really going to uh, inhibit your ability to have that long, efficient stride. So stretching, sometimes you don't want to take time for it. It seems kind of like it's just kind of a waste of time, but it really, really isn't. Really invest the time do some stretching and also get some sleep because the sleep thing 